bothering anymore. Let's talk about something else instead. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine of the old camp. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month, and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the camp. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. Tell me more about the ore. Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. They know the right smelting technique in the blast furnaces of Nordmar. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. Can I trade things with you? Yep. Anything you want. If you have ore. A new face. Have you ever dug ore, boy? Have you been here long? I've already been here ten years. Oh, believe me, I've learned and experienced quite a lot here. I've encountered many dangers and managed to stay alive. In the old times, when we worked in the abandoned mine, the one which is deserted now, and the supporting beams collapsed. But that's old stories. You must have heard about many escape plans as well. Listen, boy, I know you want to get out of here, but forget it. You better forget the thought of escape. I saw the faces of those who tried to get out of the barrier. Don't make the same mistake. The barrier will stop everybody. I don't want to dig in the mine for the next ten years of my life. No, you won't. Perhaps you'll be one of the real big shots. <laughs> who knows? You'll work your way up, but no matter how far you'll get, the barrier will finally stop you. Good luck. Same to you, boy. Same to you. What are you doing here? I'm watching diggers like snipes over there to make sure they keep their hands off my chest. What are you doing here? I'm watching... How's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure.
Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? He wants to give you a reward for your good work. Ah, really? I think you'd better go now. I've heard that there are gangsters in the mine here. They want the ore. Do you think I'm stupid? They'd never dare to do anything like that. Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? He'll kill you because you're so lazy. Well, that's no news. Scram! The diggers have found a massive ore nugget. So what? You have to take a look at it. Forget it. I've heard that there are... Do you think I'm stupid? Ian sent me. What does he want? No idea. Ian will tell you that himself. Do you think he'd tell me something like that? Then I'll go to see him. Let me pass. You owe me ten ore. Yeah, you've already earned the ten ore. Oh, and one more thing. I have the key to his chest as well. For you, only thirty ore. Give me the key. You made good business there. I just wonder what you get out of it. I'm always glad when I can get one over on the guards. And if they found the content of the chest with me, I'd be a dead man. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. Can I trade things with you? I have everything you need. What I don't have is no use to you anyway.
If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Hang on. He think you not go you shouldn't believe everything Take care.
Hey, you! If you try to make a fool out of me again, you've had it. You got that? Let me pass. Hey, don't you miss the key to your chest? Indeed. I don't even want to guess how or why you know about the key. But I'll give you 20 ore if you get it back for me. Here's your key. Yeah, that's it. Well, here's your 20 ore like we agreed. But you'd better watch out in future. From now on, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Let me... Diego sent me. I'm to collect the list. All right. Here's the list. Tell him to hurry up with the deliveries. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble.
You shouldn't be. I thought that had been cleared up. I have the list from Ian. Well done. That'll get you a few brownie points. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared it off. But anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. I think Sly's wrong about Neck. He was a real pain, that's true. But I don't think he went to the new camp. I really need to talk to Dexter. He's using you for his own business. But there aren't any rules for the test. If you manage that, you'll be making a big step. Thora says we could make use of someone like you. That's very good for you. Get on with it. There are still many things to do if you want to get... Take care. What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. Can you teach me something about hunting? That depends. What do you want to know? I want to learn how to sneak around. Good idea. That's most important if you want to enter huts to get at somebody from behind. If you bend your knees when walking, you can see the floor better, and you have better control over your body as well. But everybody will notice you in this posture, 
so make sure nobody sees you when you sneak around. Keep in mind what I told you. And above all, never get caught. Where will I get a bow? Here. I sell the best bows in the old camp. Show me your goods. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I make a living out of selling skins and teeth. Does it pay? If you know how to cut up the beast the right way, yeah. I want to learn how to cut up animals. What do you want to know? You need more experience. Obvious that would be true. I wouldn't like. Hey, just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way, you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Sure, I'll be glad to help. Great. Go to the rice lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Hey, relax. I'm a newcomer. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day.
What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. I killed a guy once. And that was once too many. That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony. It was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? Self-defense. That takes speed, not strength. Do you think cracking skulls is better than finding peace? To teach these bastards how to talk to me properly. And before you knew it, you'd become another of those bastards yourself. No, sir, I'm not training you for that. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. I've been thinking the whole thing over. And? Have you thought of anything better? No. I thought so. Hi, I'm new here. I just wanted to know what goes on around here. Ask someone else, will ya? I do nothing but work out here in the fields. I don't know nothing. Man, I'd love to tell the Rice Lord to do his own damn dirty work. If you don't like it, why are you working here? It happened the first day I got here. Lefty. One of the thugs that works for the Rice Lord came up to me and asked if I could lend a hand in the rice fields. Sure, I said. I was new here and I wanted to make myself useful. The next day, when I was taking a short rest, the guy turned up again. You don't want to let all your colleagues do all their work by themselves, do you? He asked. I told him I was exhausted from the previous day's work that I needed a rest and all that. But he never listened. He grabbed me by the collar and dragged me back to the field. From that day on, he stood outside my doorstep every day until I got used to going on my own. I didn't want any trouble with those guys. They're real cutthroats. You'd better steer clear of them. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth... Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy.
Lefty. Thanks, boy. Left. Thanks, boy. Thanks. Lefty. Left. Thanks. Thanks. Lefty sent me. Thanks. Hey, you! Well done. You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. Lefty sent me. Oh, yeah? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen... You will no Le Thanks, boy. Thanks, boy.
left. Thanks. Lefty simp. Oh, yeah? I'm to bring... Right. There's about twice that I'm... Left... That's not really my problem. I'm to bring the... Right. There's... People don't need to know it. That wasn't very clever. That's not really my problem. Ah, you're probably right. It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. Ah, you're probably right. If you think... Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. As long as I'm not involved. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. If you think... Some people never learn. I doubt it's ever likely to change. As long as I'm not involved, that won't happen again. Same old story. Every Hang on. Time. Better not go rushing into anything. Maybe. I'm not listening to all that blathering anymore. Some people never learn. There must be something about that story after all. That won't happen again. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. I 
That's not really my problem. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. You have to watch what you tell people. Maybe. I doubt it's ever likely to change. I better keep People out of don't need to know it. I'd better keep out of it. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. People always talk. I'd better keep out of it. Hey, you. What are you creeping up out here for? 